So hello everybody, my name is Lisa Schubertan. I am responsible for the International Office of Youth in Conservation of Cultural Heritage, the association that I will present to you today. And first of all, I would like to thank you for your interest and I would like to thank um, the Charisma organization um, for inviting us and giving us this opportunity. So here is a uh, short um, overview of what this presentation will be about. Um, I will first introduce you to um, Youth and Conservation of Cultural Heritage, abbreviated as UCOCU. Um, so where do we come from and what is our mission? And uh, then I will present you our activities uh, in the past, present and future. So who are we? Um, let me tell you briefly the story of a multidisciplinary reality. Um, Yukaku was founded as an informal network of young professionals active in the field of cultural heritage conservation um, at its first conference in 2008, when um, this was held in Rome. Six years later, uh, at the third edition of this um, conference that is focusing on contributions by young researchers, students and professionals. Um, it was transformed in, in, to an international association um, with offices in several countries of the world. For example, Azerbaijan, Turkey, Spain, Romania, um, Georgia and Portugal. And today we are counting 57 members with different professional backgrounds, um, different nationalities, and we are collaborating with public and private um, partner institutions, as well as um, communities. Our mission is um, to bring together um, all professions involved, as well as young and experienced experts um, of the field, for the aim of promoting um, cultural heritage conservation in the best possible way. Um, we want to um, facilitate the exchange of experiences and skills by working together on um, projects in this nationally and internationally. And um, the general guideline that we always adopt is a responsible and conscious behavior. Um, for the preservation of cultural heritage in its many forms and the engagement of the communities and the environmental um, impact. So thus we uh, focus on innovative and green ad hoc solutions for a more sustainable conservation. Yukoko also um, promotes the professional updating according to new trends and is committed to the promotion of science for children and students through events and educational activities um, to raise awareness among young people on issues related to the conservation of cultural heritage because uh, we believe that this is the best way to, um, to involve young people. Sorry. Our activities, often in collaboration um, with institutions, can be divided into three types and sometimes they are overlapping. So there is uh, research which comprises scientific analysis of artworks and objects and the development of methods and products. Um, we have dissemination through our conferences, workshops, uh, seminars, webinars and publications. And uh, we offer also services um, like scientific analysis, design and execution of restorations and um, individual workshops. Um, our research, as I said before, uh, we focus on sustainable um, conservation as there is also an urgent need in the sector for optimized materials. And we want to facilitate the application processes while um, being respectful of the operator's health and the environment at the same time. Our products are being um, tested and validated by experts in the field and we work closely together um, to improve them. Through our activities, we want to inform and educate conservators about green products and their application. For example, um, we have developed solvents for the removal of um, varnishes, um, natural and synthetic varnishes that uh, have been aged, 
Um, they are called green varnish rescue and polar varnish rescue. Here you have uh, a picture of um, the application. So they do work. Um, we also developed um, amino acid based formulations for the removal of um, deterioration products deriving from um, metal corrosion. They're called copper rescue and iron rescue. And um, yeah, they are on the market um, for conservatives. Our um, current research uh, in the field of uh, green conservation comprises um, the development of uh, non-polar and low-polar substances for the removal of um, wax-based coatings from different types of um, surfaces um, to substitute, um, for example, white spirits. Um, we are working on the optimization of our Yoko coil, which is a biocide for the cleaning of biological patinas from artifacts. And we are um, developing a protective coating for polymers um, to prevent the migration of plasticizer, which is a very um, common problem in, in the conservation of modern um, objects and art, artworks. Um, and we are also uh, working on the development of um, green solvents or solvent mixtures for the solution of uh, retouching colors of polychrome works. Um, other two pro products that we um, developed already are um, a protective coating on um, mural surf surfaces to preserve them against vandalism and um, another product to remove the vandalic taggings from murals because um, this is a big um, problem in the conservation of um, urban art. Um, how do we spread our information on the outcome of our research? So uh, our dissemination, as I mentioned before, um, um, happens through publications, for example. Um, we publish our uh, research in peer-reviewed journals. Uh, we have a preference for uh, open access publications to allow conservatives the access um, to up-to-date studies. And for our members, we have the Yukoko Library with uh, free access to all our publications and um, also to the videos uh, from webinars and from our conferences. And as I mentioned before, Yukoko was born um, with its first uh, conference. So um, since 2008, every two years, there is a um, Youth in Conservation of Cultural Heritage conference with um, varying topics. Uh, you can see here, we have been hosted by many different countries already. And what distinguishes our conferences, I think, is um, the informal uh, atmosphere and the many op opportunities we offer and we try to offer a real for a real exchange between um, the participants. Alternating to the Youth and Cultural Heritage Conservation um, Conferences, we also organize the Green Conservation Conference, which um, happens then in, in uh, every other year. And um, this year's uh, edition, we uh, organized it in Timisoara at the National Museum of Art. And we had about um, 100 participants um, from 16 different states. And um, it's basically a conference to update on um, new green methods and um, products. Um, at these conferences, um, but also throughout the whole year, um, we provide hands-on uh, workshops, seminars, and webinars to ensure the professional updating for our members, but also for other, um, others who are interested, um, where we present um, the outcome of our research um, in these formats, but also many di other different topics. I will show you um, examples in the next slide. Um, and as I said, we also uh, offer workshops especially designed for 
children um, to raise their awareness to cultural heritage and the sciences involved um, at schools or um, in our lab also. So here are some uh, examples of our activities um, from this year and the last year. Uh, for example, we um, we're talking about new technologies or um, updates on these technologies like um, 3D documentation or tomography for uh, cultural heritage. And so lastly, I would like to tell you about our services. Um, we offer full diagnostic um, procedures applied to um, cultural heritage in situ, but uh, also in our lab or in collaborating institutions like um, universities. Um, in Rome, we have a fully equipped uh, lab. We also provide uh, restoration design and execution, and uh, we offer tailored workshops and activities for adults and children um, on request. So here are some uh, examples of our recent and ongoing projects. Um, last year, for example, we uh, did the study of two vehicles of the Museum for Communication in Frankfurt with a very complex um, uh, research question regarding their authenticity. And uh, we try to answer the question by ana analyzing the constituent materials of the paints and protective coatings. Um, we are um, continuing a study of the ambiental factors influencing the conservation status of Casa Bala, which is um, the artist's uh, Giacomo Bala residence, uh, belonging to the Maxi Museum in Rome. Um, we also um, keep uh, on doing a study of the efficiency of herbicides in collaboration with the Parco Archeologico di Ostia Antica. And um, another Sorry. Another um, project uh, regarding um, communities is our um, call for minor heritage that we published this year, um, where Yukoko offers its expertise in service and analysis and restoration planning to the winner of the call um, to ensure also for smaller museums and communities to be able to preserve assets of their local identity. And this is um, still ongoing. So thank you very much for your attention. Um, I would like to invite you to check out our website to, for further information. And um, also, we would be very happy to um, welcome you as a member. So join us. <laughs>